opera. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> My one true love? <laughs> I like how you can just see like a row of seats at the bottom there. <laughs> Please run away. For a song in the background <laughs> with the voice. Oh man, I remember seeing this thing where they actually got like a trained opera singer to sing the song to Nobu Uematsu, who composed the, the original music. So they like like or actually orchestrated. They, they have to sing a the lyric version of that song. Yeah. It's so sad that you're going to the dungeon. <laughs> well, toodles. Oh no! Whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, it's this puzzle again. Oh heavens, have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sends sounds and noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't you see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great! Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... Oh. You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. <laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Good luck, darling! Red. Yeah, because red is nothing. I can't move forward. I can't move forward. Oh. I'm out of time. Time's up. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like you're out of time. What's funny is if you didn't do the maze at all and didn't touch any of the green, because you have to touch green to fight a monster. They would have gotten angry and said, I'm going to fight you anyways. <laughs> <laughs> We're closing in. Getting closer, oh my. Any minute now. Do it! <laughs> Robotic cop. Watch out. I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. So, wait, I didn't hit anything. Come on, Metaton, give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound and you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me! Uh, it's a good thing your music. Uh, I like his music. You yell, nothing happens. Zid, darling, say goodbye! Is that your phone? You better answer. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? It's phone's act menu. Press it. Okay. Yellow. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling? Say goodbye! Okay. 
I'm yellow now. Now press Z. Or don't. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Oops. <laughs> oh! Oh! You've defeated me! <laughs> One How shot. How could this be? <laughs> you were stronger than I thought, etc. Yeah, if he didn't shoot at all, oh. it would have been coaxed to Shit. keep hitting the button until eventually they just get bored and then leave. <laughs> So I was trying to figure out which button, which button was freaking Z. Whenever there's an the act controller. button, it's the act button, Ace. Because oh, okay. there's only three buttons. Map, cancel, and accept. Looks like you beat him. You did a really good job out there. Yeah, you shot him a oh, whole thanks once. thanks to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks to you. What? Oh, no. I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but... Can I tell you something? But before I met you, I didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw up, like I couldn't do anything without, without ending up letting everyone down. But guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past the NTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. All right, Wait, I'm, I'm gonna call. Uh... Nope. Papyrus. Wow! I saw it! The multicolored tile puzzle! Seems like you weren't able to complete it. You've got to be prepared next time. I'll have to explain it all again. You see, red tiles are impassable, pink tiles don't do anything, <laughs> green tiles are... <laughs> Did I hung hang up or...? Yes. Oh my god. I wonder if it actually is possible to... Act to... I don't think so. I haven't seen anyone say that they've been able to do it. Oh, it's an ice cream dude. Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. <laughs> I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Oh, hey. We're, like, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? Actually, Und Undyne's okay by not telling me right now, so. He seems happy. I'm gonna go to the left. Oh. I'm gonna go to the right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's this guy. Hey, hey! Did you remember my name? Did you? Yes. What? <laughs> you remember? How could I be so easily defeated? <laughs> <Peace>. <laughs> Should I go sell stuff? There's some extra crap I don't need. You'd have to take the elevator okay, to go. R1. Yeah. Go south, take yeah. the boat back to Waterfall, then walk all the way to the Temi village. Wait, is it R1 or L1? L1. You said R1. L1. You said R1. No, I didn't. I said yeah, L1. I'm pretty sure you said R1. Fucking rewind. <laughs> You'd have to take the elevator okay. to R1. Oh. R1. Alright. See, I told See, you. See, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm gonna save. Backtracking. Sup, dude. I saw, um, like, yeah. I saw this little fan theory where it's like, the cloak is just like, uh, the little annoying dog standing on a stool. <laughs> What's my name? It doesn't really matter. That would kind of make sense. But that's just a theory. No! <laughs> Don't even put that joke in. <laughs> Because that's fucking uh, annoying and dumb. <laughs> if you want to get the internet angry at you, or me, that's okay. a good way of doing it. Why would they be angry No. Because no one likes game theory. No one likes game theory? No, no one likes game theory. everybody like MatPat? No. <laughs> no one likes MatPat? <laughs> Fanboys, you gotta go down. <laughs> I didn't... I... Right, okay. It's been a while, okay? No. Jeez. It's a, it's a tiny game. You should memorize everything. Bum, doo, bum, doo, bum.
<laughs> right, I'm gonna say here again just in case something happens. You feel something. <laughs> Detamination. Wait. Uh. You didn't even bring anything to sell. Yeah, I did. It's in my phone dimensional box. Oh, wait, no, I should keep that. <laughs> I come all this way to sell two items. Yeah, yeah! Wait, shit! Wait, no, it only... Only say no if, like, he's freaking out and say yeah. no. Okay, yeah. So I did it right. Alright. How much is the, uh, Tem armor? Oh, good question. 5,000 G! Oh, drop by, like, a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the Tem flake is expensive at 20 G. And then there's Tem armor. Oh, I got- oh, shit. Guess I'm never gonna get the Temmy armor. Not that attitude. I'm filled with determination. So did Toby Fox write all the music on this too? I believe so. He's a talented dude. I mean, that, that is what he's, uh, mostly worked with, is music. But I think his first project was, uh, an Earthbound ROM hack. Really? Yeah. Might have done some other stuff, I, I don't know. But then eventually he was like, fuck it, I'm gonna make my own game. And then he did. Wish I could do that. Well, you could if you would just do it. I don't know how to get started. Well, I guess I do have started, like I have an idea. Yeah, all but... you need is an idea, and then for the rest Ugh. of it, basically, if you look at anyone else who's been like, you know, soul building the game just by themselves, yeah. their advice would be, all right, pick apart what you need to learn about in making a game. Then learn everything you need to know step by step. Like, get into coding, learn how to code. Is it R3? Then get into, yeah, and then get into drawing to do the, the sprite work. And then get into the scripting to have the coding and the- <laughs> still shot! Yeah. Anyway. But what if I wanted to do like a 3D game? I'm not good at modeling or anything like that. F fucking get good! That's hey. all it is. Go to the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. I'm gonna talk to Sans first. Sup? Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure, why not? Great, thanks for treating me. Over here, I know a shortcut. Sans, what are you getting me into? Oh. Well, here we are, so... The journey's almost over, huh? You just really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, but oh. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking him out like usual. I knock on the door and say knock knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So, naturally, I like how he changed his voice there. So naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? This is a very bad joke. And then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep him coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, knock knock. So I say, Who th who's there? 
Old lady. Old lady who? Oh. I did not know you could heal the Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. She kept, we kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The virus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. And I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. And then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. That's true. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would happen if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, Mako. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time? Actually, I have a couple times. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Someone really cares about you. My heart. <laughs> 